as Marius Block makes his way to the ring. Using the same ring entrance music, Doug, as one of the Klitschko brothers, and he says he wants to fight one of them next year. Well, Maybe this is an ode to either Vladimir or Vitaly. Well, at least the Klitschkos would finally be fighting someone their size. <laughs> Certainly. Various blocks, six, seven, and a half. He'll still be looking up at Ty Fields, who's a four, six, nine. But Ty used to towering over his opponents. That won't be the case here tonight. Various Block, 26 and 0, 14 KOs. 31 years of age as well. He's right in the prime of his career. Where, yeah, maybe next year he has to think about making that biggest step, challenging one of the Klitschkos. He has a regional title, a minor title with the WBO right now, and with the WBC. He's sitting at number eight in the WBC rankings. He could theoretically fight a Klitschko right now, but he has to get by Ty Big Sky Fields before he can do that. Well, let's take a look at the tail of the tape. A lot of height here. Ty Fields listed today at 6'8", typically listed at 6'9". Marius Locke, 6'7". Two big boys on the scale as well. Fields weighing in at 256, Locke 247. Both look to be in great shape. And this looks to shape up like a true brawl. Let's get you to our ring announcer, Larry Tornambi. And it's time for our main event from Jimmy Birchfield's Classic Entertainment and Sports and Global Boxing. We have 12 rounds in the heavyweight division for the WBC International Belt. The judges at ringside, Ron McNair, Waleska Roldan, and John Stewart and our referee in charge of the action, Benji Estevez. Heavyweights scheduled for 12 rounds. I introduce to you first, in the corner to my left, in the blue corner, wearing red and black trunks, weighing 256 pounds. His professional record, 49 wins, 44 of those by knockout. He has four losses. From Edmonton, Canada, Atlantic City, please welcome Ty Field. And his opponent in the red corner. His undefeated professional record, 26 wins, zero losses, 14 wins by knockout. Weighing 247 pounds and wearing all black trunks. From Krakow, Poland, and now from North Bergen, New Jersey, he's the heavyweight defending WBC international titleist, Marius Mark. The WBC president, Jose Suleiman, representing his supervisor, Joe Dwyer. Right now, we have Benji Estevez with the final instructions. 12 rounds, heavyweights for the WBC international title. Getting ready for the final instructions here from referee Benji Estevez. Walk and fields, and you can see the girth the of these two Obey men. Commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch them up. Good luck to both of you. Fields versus Walk Resorts. Let them hear you. Two big boys in the ring right here. Both a part of knockout of the year contenders last year. Walk with his vicious knockout of Kevin McBride on the last CES broadcast. And Ty Fields, well, he was on the wrong end of one. And Michael Grant flattened him in three rounds. Ty looks like he's in good shape. Is that pretty typical for him? Yeah, Ty seems to always come in in good shape. And Fields, I know we got it. a chorus of boos here from the fans when we start round one. He's one of those guys that you just want to cheer for. Boxing doesn't get athletes like Ty Fields too often. He was an NCAA basketball player, and it seems that he's found his love of boxing at a later age. Let's see if he can revive his career tonight with a win over a rising star in the heavyweight division in Marius Walk. Yeah, Marius from Global thought that, uh, I saw him at the workout the other day, that he has a chance to move up to five or six in the WBO rankings if he wins this. So certainly an impactful fight for Walk. 
and for Fields to get right back in those rankings. He's in them, or this wouldn't be for the regional title. The Watts' instincts are to counter. You'd like to see him jab a little more than we've seen in the past. Fields not the most active with his right hand, doesn't jab too much. Used it more as a range finder for that big left, more than as an offensive weapon. You would think a guy of Fields' height would use it a little better than he does. There he tries to turn it over. Walk told me earlier this week, he was looking at the blueprint set by Michael Grant. Wait, tie Fields out in the early rounds, and then jump on those mistakes. See the mistakes he's making and capitalize them after the first two. So if you're seeing a slow start, it's because Marius Walk wants it that way. Fields typically doesn't stand for that though. He wants to brawl. Fields has been uncharacteristically cautious here. You don't always see Ty Fields with his hands up at that high guard. Likes to fight with his hands down. Winging shots early on. More cautious version of Big Sky here tonight. Good left hook from Marius Walk. Fields trying to stay active with that jab. Trying to find the range so he can uncork that big left hand. We haven't really seen him try it yet. It hasn't been a good round offensively for Ty Fields, but I will admit he was far more defensively responsible than we typically see out of him. The hands were high, and he didn't reach with that sweeping left hook that he tends to that gets him in trouble. So there are some positives for Big Sky in this one. Let's take a listen in in Walk's corner and in Fields' corner. Round two between these two giants. Fields the southpaw. Maurice Lock, the orthodox fighter. You know who they are, or you wouldn't have purchased this pay per view. How did you score the first round? It was definitely a, a Marius Walk round, but again, as I said, there were positives for Ty Fields. He didn't take crazy chances. The types that get him hurt. Last time out against Raphael Butler in Edmonton, Fields hit the mat, and Butler is not a guy he should be hitting the mat against. Really a journeyman, gatekeeper type. But Fields left himself open with that sweeping left hook that he tries to, that he tries to throw. Most boxing trainers would throw you out of the gym if you tried some, something like that. They'd send you to do road work. Fields has been a lot smarter so far. That's that punch that he cannot, cannot throw because Walk will counter that with a right hand. I'm sure that Walk's corner is taking notes. Left hook to the body there from Walk a moment ago. Starting very slowly, cautiously, as he said he would. He's very aware of Fields' power. He knows he can't just bull rush in there. Fields can knock anyone on the planet out 
with that left hand if he hits them. Combination from Walk, starting to let his hands go. He's not a particularly active puncher, Marius Walk. He's not going to thrill you with his punch output. What he throws, it's purposeful, it's meaningful. Kevin McBride will tell you that. Christian Hammer, a pair of knockout of the year candidates in recent outings for Marius Walk. Now the two big men start to exchange. Fields' instincts are to brawl. That's what he wants to do. He thinks he can win a brawl with anyone. Walk starting to smile, starting to let his hands go. This was his promise. He said he would start to open up around now. A good round for Marius Watt. Let's start breaking him down a little. Well, he played it safe, and now I think he's finding those openings, Doug. Fans, keep in mind the after fight party beginning at 8 o'clock. It's the official party at the Burger Bar, located next to Gallagher Steakhouse. Corey, where do you rank uh, Marius among like the young heavyweight prospects out there? You know, Tyson Fury's of the world and so forth. Well, Walk is right up there with either of them. And I think that he has, if not for Fury's win over Derek Tesora, he has a comparable resume to any of them. Uh, I sort of put him on the same level as a guy like Tyson Fury or a, a Robert Hellenius. Uh, David Price. David Price. He's almost more experienced and he's older. He's 31 years of age. So the time for him to take that Klitschko fight to make the next step, a little bit more imminent than those fighters. And that's why we have a keen eye on him right now because that next step is the biggest one for Fury and for Price. There are still fights to take in between. For Walk, there's essentially just Ty Fields before he makes the leap to a heavyweight title fight. Round three, this is when Walk said he was gonna start opening up or the big Polish war between him and Adamek. Or Andrew Galata, who's here in the, uh, here in the audience. I can only imagine the crowd here in New Jersey for fight between Marius Walk and Tomas Adamak were ever to materialize. I don't know if the Prudential Center is big enough for that one. It's not. And television is not big enough for them because these events are staggered so that the Polish audience can watch Tomas Adamek later tonight. That will be at about 3 a.m. in Poland, I believe. That shows you how dedicated the Polish boxing audience is. Polsat's got a triple header today. They got this show, they're showing Morales, and then they're showing the uh, show out of Brooklyn. A wonderful, wonderful day of boxing if you live in Poland. Fields coming on now, digging to the body. That's uncharacteristic of him. And this is what I mean. Fields will never be a terrific boxer, but I feel that he's found his love and his passion of boxing maybe when it's too late. He's trying things in the gym. He looks a little different. He has, the, has those hands up. He's trying different things. Maybe he has peaked, but again, he's a nice guy that you almost want to root for, as impartial as I have to remain. <laughs> he's hard to dislike. Well, I think he just got a bad rap. Uh, a couple too many appearances on, on, on versus. versus, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and again, it wasn't Fields' fault that he was afforded those opportunities. Not at all. You gotta fight who they put in front of you. Fields has struggled when he hasn't had those types of opponents in front of him. His biggest steps up. Uh, and now he's hurt again. Walk starting to open up. Fields doesn't run from these types of exchanges. 
Goes out on his shield. Fields has never beaten a fighter of this level in their prime. He's never beaten a prime fighter. And right now, a prime fighter is getting the best of him in round three. Good right hand from Walk. A pair of them right at the bell. And the two giants stare each other down. Well, this is turning out to be fun, Doug. Yeah, it's a fun show. Let's try and listen in on Walk's corner. Walk immediately goes to the center of the ring for the start of round four. He looks ready. He looked eager to jump on Ty Fields at the end of round three. Is he going to keep the momentum? He had Fields hurt with a pair of right hands. Is he going to go back to the well? Fields still wide with those shots. Those power shots come from an odd angle. But they're easy to counter. And it's gotten into a lot of trouble, but Watt can't lay there and let Fields open up. We got the Polska chance going now. Watt fired up. Let's see if Watt turns it on, responds to the crowd. Going back to counter mode, letting Fields open up here on the ropes. And that's where he shouldn't be, because he can't counter leaning back over the ropes. That's where Fields can throw wide, and that's where he can land those types of punches. He hasn't yet capitalized on Fields' mistakes here in round four. He's done it earlier, though. More right hands from Walk. Is he going in for the kill? Walk an eight to one and nine to one favorite in Vegas for this fight. A lot of people expecting him to stop Ty Fields. I think Walk expects to stop Ty Fields. He's had a couple opportunities. The big Sky's still on his feet. Block now trying to counter with that left hook. Again, that tight field jab isn't very deliberate. It's a range finder, and it can be countered. Not snapping it out there. Field seems to be slowing down here. Walks punches landing with more and more regularity. Hard right hand splits the guard of Fields. Another one from Walk. Field seemed a little bit off balance at the end of that round. Kind of reaching with those punches, lunging almost. Wonder if stamina is gonna be an issue. Fields did manage to get all the way through the prize fighter tournament until he was stopped by Mike Perez. He's shown that he, he can handle a lengthy affair. He had some breaks there between fights. 
<laughs> exactly. Yeah. Personally, make red believe. Fields getting a glob of Vaseline on his face. That'll help his defense. One way to defend punches. Around five here between Ty Fields and Marius Walk. Fields in the black and red. Walk in all black. The crowd favorite here at the Resorts Hotel and Casino in Atlantic City. See, I think the Polish crowd is looking for Walk to end this so they can all hop in their cars and uh, head up to Brooklyn. Head up to Brooklyn, exactly. There are more than a few people here who are doing that. Tomas Adamek, of course, the other major Polish heavyweight fighting in Brooklyn tonight. Walk trying to slip, trying to look for those openings. You wonder what would happen if Walk were just to walk forward. And force the issue here. And again, you can't underestimate the punching power of Ty Fields. Another pair of right hands from Walk. Left hand from Ty Fields. A little bit more active in this round. Corner told him, don't be lazy with your hands. Looking better this round. Fields is guilty of really tipping a shot sometimes. You can see when he's turning to throw that left hand. And at times he'll just stop. Stop the punch mid-punch. And that's got him in some trouble in the past as well. There was a good left hand. Raises the head of Marius Walk. Not a terrific round here for Marius Walk. Yeah. There we go. And now he starts to turn it on. Seems to rally at the end of every round since round two. This is about when he turns it on. The old uh, Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvin Hagler. Exactly. Here. Hard shot from Marius Walk. Those right hands have a permanent home, and Walk is flurrying. Field says he can take it, and he does. Little extra effort after the bell from Marius Walk, and another late flurry, in my opinion, takes the round away from Ty Fields. Walk didn't do much of anything for the first two minutes and 10 seconds. But there you see the effects of the work down the stretch from Marius Walk. And I agree with him because it doesn't, those openings that he sees at the end of the round are there at the beginning of the round as well. And you can sense this crowd is just waiting, waiting for him to jump on Ty Fields. They already have their spectacular knockout with Spilka. And they exactly. Another. Now they need more. Bloodthirsty fans here in Atlantic City. Walk well, 
Mark almost throws his jab in retaliation. Doesn't force the issue and lead with that jab. If he would jab more, he could open lanes for that right hand. The one that busted Fields up at the end of round five. Again, Walk taking his time here at the beginning of the round. Hard right hand scores again for Marius Walk. Every time a punch lands, the crowd gets into it, another one. Now Walk really unloading, and Fields is hurt. Fields is down. Can he get back to his feet? I don't think he's going to. That is it. Marius Watt. Gets the knockout that he wanted. The one the crowd wanted and expected here tonight. That was a nice finish. Another strong finish from Marius Walk. You know, early in his career, Doug, he wasn't thought of as a big puncher, but recently, he really knockouts over, over Ty Fields, over Kevin McBride. Not the biggest names necessarily, but these are credible big men that he's stopping, and stopping in spectacular fashion. That's the way to market yourself if he wants to go ahead and get a bigger fight with the Klitschko's. You need to have some sort of cachet because they can choose to fight whoever they please. No, you certainly need to you know, knock out guys you're supposed to knock out, beat guys you're supposed to beat, and he's doing that. You know, he fought really, you know, we could say, hey, he shouldn't have had him out in the third round or whatever, but he was patient, he broke him down, and did what he's supposed to do. Let's take a look at that knockout again. This is what was working all night long, that straight right hand. And Walk really opens up here. And you wonder if he could have done this earlier. I guess it doesn't necessarily matter as he gets the job done here. And I think a good job of officiating. Fields did make it to his feet, he was unsteady. There are some referees that would have allowed that to continue. And we could have had a more gruesome knockout here. That was good protection of Ty Fields, who just wasn't going to win the fight after taking that. Another knockout loss for Ty Fields. And every time that's happened, he's gone back to Edmonton. As I mentioned, he's beaten the guys that he has to beat. His wife has a hand in running a casino in Edmonton. He can essentially promote his own shows and make his own money. So he can continue on boxing, but it's clear that he's not going to be at the world level at any point in his career. Mariusz Wach uh, jest z nami. Mariusz Wach i oczywiście Artur Szpilka, ale zaczniemy może od Mariusza Wacha. Mariusz, gratulacje. Powiedz mi, taktyka doskonale dobrania. Dobrana dałeś się wyszaleć przeciwnikowi w pierwszych 60 sekundach każdej rundy, a następnie ty przystępowałeś do ataku. Domyślam się, że było to co, coś, nad czym pracowaliście z treneraniem przez te kilka miesięcy. Też. To walka była zakontraktowana na 12 rund. Taka była taktyka, żeby w pierwszych rundach, w pierwszych sekundach te, tych poszczególnej walki, poszczególnej rundy dać się mu wyszczelać. Żeby później, wiadomo, oglądałem jego, jego prawie wszystkie walki, kondycyjnie, kondycyjnie nie, nie, nie wytrzymywał tych, tych 12 rund, tam nie wiem ile on na tych boksował, ale, ale co mogę tutaj zagwarantować, przysięgnąć, przysiąc, że, że naprawdę dysponował mocnym uderzeniem, nie bił, nie bił e, dużo prawych, ale jak prawa weszła gdzieś mi na, na, na gardę nawet, to, to czułem na nosie to, 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 ten jego cios. No właśnie, ale od razu było widać, że miał sporo dla Ciebie szacunku. Nie tak jak zwykle w swoich poprzednich walkach ruszał do jakiegoś szalonego ataku, ale były to takie kontrolowane ataki. 
tego się spodziewałeś, czy właśnie tego bardziej właśnie, szalonego ataku? Nie, właśnie myślałem, że będzie bardziej zdecydowany e, schud, schud 15 czy 17 funtów, ale myślę, że, że nie przestraszył się mnie, tylko tej wspaniałej publiczności tutaj się zgromadziła. Brawa, brawa oczywiście dla publiczności, brawa dla wszystkich kibiców e, Mariusza Wacha, śledzących twojej kariery. Ja wiem, Mariusz, że ty jesteś skromnym człowiekiem i nigdy nie wybiegasz zbytnio w przyszłość, ale jakbyś e, miał taką e, złotą rybkę, co byś chciał zrobić dalej? Kolejną walkę z jakimś naprawdę znaczącym, e, znaczącym zawodnikiem na świecie. Z pierwszej dziesiątki. Czyli następna walka, pierwsza dziesiątka. Mamy tutaj z nami... Mamy tutaj z nami kolejnego pięściarza, który dzisiaj nie musiał czekać na werdykt sędziowski. Przede wszystkim Artur Szpilka, komentarz do walki Mariusza Wacha. Bo jestem bardzo zadowolony, troszeczkę mógł to zrobić wcześniej, ale dał się naoglądać kibicom, dlatego cieszę się bardzo. Zwycięstwa Polaków, kolega z Krakowa, Polak i trzymamy kciuki za nas dwóch i do przodu. A chciałeś tak wskoczyć w pewnym momencie i pomóc mu, widząc jak walczy, znając twój charakter i znając twoją ambicję? Nie widziałem, Mariusz czekał spokojnie, ten pykał, pykał, wyczuł, bach, poszedł za ciosem, no i jak widzieliście, ciężka prawa poszła, nokaut i tak ma być. Tylko mógł to zrobić szybciej. Jak wam się walczy na wspólnych galach? Mariuszko, jak wam się walczy na wspólnych galach? Bardzo miło, bardzo wspaniała atmosfera jest w szatni. Zawsze jesteśmy, zawsze jesteśmy razem w tych szatniach, mobilizujemy się, dopingujemy siebie. Zwłaszcza nasz szpila tutaj dopinguje, bo troszkę tak jest. Nad pobudliwi w tej szatni, to, to każdy z nim się pobudza. Ja jeszcze raz chciałbym podziękować wszystkim za doping dla mnie, dla Mariusza i trzymajcie za nas ciuki. Będziemy... Trzymamy kciuki za wszystkich i oczywiście za Kamila Łaszczyka, trzeciego Polaka, trzech Polaków, trzy zwycięstwa. Gratulujemy wszystkich, e, którzy występowali tutaj w Atlantic City. Gratulujemy panowie. Dziękujemy ślicznie. Dziękujemy, pozdrawiam.